The Nintendo Switch is seven years old, which means that we are reaching the end of the console's lifespan. However, Nintendo just last month unveiled several new games coming to the platform, including Metroid Prime 4, Mario & Luigi Brothership, The Legend of Zelda, Echoes of Wisdom, and more. Even though the Switch was packed with these promising titles, Nintendo had at least one more game to show. Unlike the other upcoming games, this one was outside of the company's comfort zone. We all know that Nintendo largely focuses on publishing games that everyone of all ages can enjoy. It's fairly rare for Nintendo to step outside of their boundaries, but when they deviate, it's certainly interesting to say the least. Just a few days ago, Nintendo uploaded a peculiar video that featured a creepy figure wearing a paper bag. The figure's bag has a large smile, and the body jitters in strange ways. The video ends with a Japanese word that translates to Smiling Man. Though the teaser is brief and ambiguous, we do learn some information about it. First off, it has already been rated M by the ESRB. Since 2002, Nintendo has only published seven games with this rating, including Eternal Darkness, Sanity's Requiem, Geist, and the two Bayonetta sequels. This untitled project is likely going to be Nintendo's eighth mature game, which would be a big deal. The second thing we know is that it is likely that we will see the finished product quite soon. We have less than a year until the Nintendo Switch's successor is announced, according to Furukawa, and since it'll be released on Nintendo Switch, they have a motive to finish it before the new console comes out. Finally, we have an idea of what kind of material will be found in this horror project, thanks to some descriptions provided by the Australian Classification Board. According to them, the project will contain edgy materials such as cruel violence, domestic abuse, and references to suicide. The game will not be restrained, it seems. Even though we have some breadcrumbs about this title, there are still a lot of questions to ask. The most important of these circles around the unknown developers responsible for this odd project. There was some speculation that Polish video game developers, Bloober Team, were behind it. Initially, these theories were quite strong, as Bloober Team CEO Piotr Babieno revealed on July 8th that the company was working on a game known as Project M for Nintendo platforms. Bloober Team is known for several games in the horror genre, such as Layers of Fear, The Medium, and the upcoming Silent Hill 2 remake. Despite these connections, a Bloober Team spokesperson refused to comment on whether Project M was related to Emio or not, saying, For Project M, we will tell more about the project in a proper time. Furthermore, Necro Philippe, the editor-in-chief of Universo Nintendo, suggested that Bloober Team was not involved in the development of the strange new game. That puts us back to the drawing board. What studio is crafting Emio? Hopefully we will know soon. Another head-scratching question regards Emio's gameplay. What will it be like? Will it play like a survival horror, an action horror, a jump scare fest, or something entirely left field? Currently, there are no sources that provide any clues as to what the gameplay could be. Even so, we can at least guess that it will lean towards the style of psychological horror. Emio's rather dark theme seemed to indicate such, anyway. The last big question is this. When will we hear from it again? It seems likely that we will see it on shelves not too far from now, but it still isn't very clear when we should expect to see stronger marketing for Emio. Could it be somewhere around September or October, given that those months focus on the Halloween season? Maybe we'll get an update about it within a few weeks, now that the mysterious project has our attention. What do you think? Will we hear about it sooner or later? Is there any evidence that I have missed? Feel free to let me know in the comments section below. Until then, goodbye. <laughs>